Welcome, friends. We are so glad that you are here with us. We've been waiting for you because today we get a chance to celebrate the launch of the new Amazon original series, Reacher. I'm Albert, by the way. I happen to be a fan but I'm also the host today. So I'm here on your behalf, which means that as you're writing the questions and the comments and whatnot, we're also gonna be keeping our eyes on that. This is a massive big deal, and here's why. First off, we've got the actual man who plays Reacher himself right here in front of me, Alan Richson. So Alan is here to kick it with us. Alan, how you doing? Thank you, I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Yes, and later on in the show, we are pulling out all the stops. We're bringing out other cast members of Reacher so we get a chance to play together, which means that we've got trivia coming on up. We've got games coming up. We've got interviews, really, really hard hitting yeah. questions. Yeah, let's go, let's go Barbara Walters. <laughs> yes, but most importantly, we have the fans Make sure that you are keeping your eye not only on us, but also on the chat section in the comments because we want to see you really, really engaging. We need your help for the questions that we're going to be asking. We need your support for the energy to keep it on up here today. So engage with us. We love y'all. We appreciate you. All right, let's get to it. Now look, the here is actually special in and of itself because we are in a diner. That's right. And I know that in Reacher, a diner actually plays quite a strong role. So why? It plays a strong role in my life, too, because it's full of pie. Yes. It's full of coffee. Um, what's more uh, Reacher than coffee and pie? Yeah. Um, this is in Killing Floor, the first book in the series. Uh, we meet Reacher at a diner for mm -hmm. the first time, this mysterious stranger that strolled into town. And a uh, guy just wants a nice black coffee and peach pie, and, and uh, the cops have other ideas. So he's arrested for murder in a diner, and that's where the fun begins. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Came through. Thank you. You <laughs> read my mind. It. Uh, okay, I do have a problem. I think that my slice is a little smaller than yours, man. Look, if you want, I mean, we can switch if you want. I mean, I th you know, but I'll, I'll also eat both if you're cool with that, too. <laughs> well, you look, I, I guess since, since this you, part uh, looks a thousand times better than the one that we had on the show. Does it? <laughs> All season long, I was waiting to eat the pie, and it looked, it looked decent. Yeah. But this has like the sugar. I mean, this is a piece of pie. This is a true piece of pie. You know, while it's here, we might as well get a little bite while it's fresh, right? Um, I'll, I'll bite. <laughs> yeah. A bite or two. <laughs> By the way, everybody who's watching us live right now, we hope that you get a moment to go grab some peach pie of your own. Enjoy this. Take one situation. for the team. Do it for Margrave. <laughs> Do, Do it, it for, for Reacher. <laughs> now, now you talk about Margrave. Margrave, this is the town that we get a chance to see Reacher really do his thing and, and clean up some of the mess that's happening within there. How long did it take for you, once you got onto the Margrave set, to really feel as though, okay, I'm no longer Alan, I'm Reacher? That's a good question. You know, what people don't know, hopefully they don't realize it, the Margrave set is the most fantastic. You, to get to Margrave in real life, yeah. the set, that the town that we built, and when I say we, I mean not me, the town that we resurrected out of the cornfield that we were, we were way outside of Toronto, there's a cornfield, you drive through the corn, and then all of a sudden you're in Margrave and it opens up like it's Pleasantville. I mean, just all of a sudden. Ooh. And it's the real. You can walk in every shop. There's the candy shop that I used to steal candy from. Margrave is like a real thing in the middle of a cornfield. So as soon as you cross the threshold of corn, to yeah. answer your question, um, you are you feel like you're in it. You know, you feel like you're there. Oh, and you know what? Now we get a chance to jump into an exclusive clip right now. Uh, we get to see your acting chops really in full display because you have so much to say in this clip. Check it out. What is your name? Sasquatch don't talk. And a passport on you though. Jack Reacher. No middle name. Zip ties? Cuffs didn't fit him. No stamps. New in January 1st. You plan on leaving the country? Everything else he was carrying? What's that, about 200? 212. This looks like some kind of foreign deal. World War II medal. French. No one moves around holding just this. Where are you keeping the rest of your shit? You got a friend in town? Girl? What the hell are you doing in my town? Don't want to talk? Maybe we put you in a holding cell, get you to change your mind. And how exactly would you do that? Explain to him his constitutional rights under the Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments, then hope he waves them of his own free will. Yep. No need, I've got it from here. Take him to the conference room, I'll be in in a moment. Bean town, bitch. So, 
so so in this scene, uh, Reacher's being booked into the station, mm-hmm. and he's taking it all in. So he's you know he's profiling, he's mm-hmm. absorbing his environment, so that later he can unleash his with his Reacher superpower all that he's figured out. Um, mm-hmm. But it is mysterious and rather stoic, mm-hmm. which is Reacher. But Reacher said nothing is like a famous turn of phrase from the books. It's in every it's like every chapter you get like Reacher said nothing because we live inside his head and you know it's um. We, you know, we wanted to give that to the fans. Hey, Alan, uh, here is a fan submitted question that we have right here. So thank you all for sending this in. What did you enjoy most about bringing this character to life? And what was the biggest challenge in doing so? Uh, in one answer, I mean, in one word, I can say food is mm-hmm. my favorite thing. Uh, Reacher eats like no other character I've ever played. And it's, well, it's great. I should say it's great until somebody's starts forgetting their lines and then it becomes and then I it's, there's like a calorie overload and I gotta barf um, my, oh, no, uh, my, what was my least favorite part yeah. I think my least favorite part was just how exhausting the schedule was it was mm. uh, you know um, Reacher needs like an identical twin I think to do this. <laughs> like, I would have loved to have a twin on set uh, but it was just it was a tough schedule and uh, you know because there's a fight every episode mm. like normally between takes I'm by the craft services because like I said I love food sure. and I sincerely mean that and uh, watch me eat pie right now Look to prove it evidence I'm right going to continue Rince. to prove it um, <laughs> my pie my pie assistant just came and dropped I love food see I'm going to keep dropping my lines by the way so that we have to keep yeah, on adding more pie yeah. <laughs> I'm going to finish the whole pie <laughs> so you talk about Margrave and we think about how how gorgeously it does transport us into this universe but how faithful is the Reacher series to the books that we're so familiar with. Um, yeah, this is, I think, the most faithful adaptation yet. I mean, from the importance that, you know, the, the team uh, behind this put into Reacher's physicality, mm-hmm. making sure that they had, you know, had that right, uh, you know, to making sure that the, the, the most important parts of Killing Floor were in the book. The tricky thing about adapting a book to film is, you know, are, is the audience that hasn't read the book gonna understand that world enough you know those little details that we get as a reader. Um, so the, the the only thing that isn't sort of like a one to one adaptation, are some of the flashbacks or some of the the the, the stories that set up the uh, our understanding of why Reacher is the way that he is and why he's here now. Um, Killing Floor takes place a few months after he's retired from the military, so it's sort of the beginning of a new life and a new journey for him. Um, so he's discovering himself a bit. And uh, we need to discover that with him too. So there's a couple, a couple moments from other books, later books that um, Nick Santora, the showrunner writer, uh, decided to pull in, and it's it's, but it's done so carefully that it's seamless. And and those fans that are uh, paying attention to you know exactly what's in Killing Floor versus other books, I think will appreciate what was done. Hmm. Um, so it was all handled really you know delicately and and with with uh, a lot of respect for the readers, you know. But it's it's faithful. Yeah, very faithful. And so since this whole season takes place within the realm, within the span of The Killing Floor, we get to really, really dive deep then. Yeah, I mean, I th- this is the medium, uh, this is the right medium for this kind of story. I mean, it, mm-hmm. you know, a book crammed into a two-hour feature is difficult, mm-hmm. you know. Um, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of moments that or characters that people love are, are inevitably going to come up missing. Yeah. Um, we have eight episodes to tell the story of Killing Floor, and it's uh, we you know we don't need more time or less. It's, it's it was it was spot on. It feels like it. Um, I mean, the pace quickens with every episode. You know, the, the, there are cliffhangers at the end of every episode that the, you you lean in and want more, um, but you, you leave so sad. When I finished the, the the final episode, I was so satisfied, and I, I was watching my, my wife, and one of the rare times she was still awake. <laughs> At the end of one of our movie watching sessions, and, uh, and I said, I feel like we just li- I lived a whole life with these characters. It's so mm. satisfying. Um, and it, but the streaming medium, what Amazon is doing, um, you know, to, to you know, for storytellers, I think uh, uh, you know we're the beneficiary of the times that we're in. So I'm gonna bring up a few of these specific quotes, and I want you to tell me where you were in this space, and I want you to tell me how it felt for you to be able to deliver this line. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'll give you to the count of three. Well, you know, <laughs> if you're trying to survive, sometimes cheating to win isn't cheating at all. Am I right? <laughs> uh, Let us know in the chat. Do you agree with that so, one on that? <laughs> Here's another one. Do you want to dance the tamborito with me? 
And by the way, what what is the tamborito? Is it like a shimmy? Uh, yeah, I think it's you know, uh, it's like a it's like a salsa. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, like a salsa thing, right? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, as long as your shoulders and your hips move at the same time, I think it's it counts. All right, Alan. Now it's time for our first game. It's called oh. zip tie. Rip tie. It's okay. I've seen these before. Yes, yes. But I gotta take my watch off. Indeed. If I'm getting arrested, that's the first thing I say to cops every time I'm arrested. <laughs> Guys, can I take my watch off? Now, in Reacher, of we get to see Reacher break out of some zip ties. Why you gotta do me like this? Man? I gotta I see. Gotta, you know, didn't I do it once? Was it once good enough? Can he actually do this? Y'all, can he do it? What if I do? Are All we right. putting money on this? Um, there, you know what? You can have my slice okay. of pie if you get it. Now you're under arrest. Oh, okay, so I, all right, fine. Okay, here we go. You're doing this too. I'm not going to be the only one. How do we do it? Just here go, go through so here. There we go. Okay. I'm going to lock you in here. You are busted, man. Oh, okay. Well, okay, so <laughs> I hope this works. It's been a while, you know. All right, so I'm going to count you down. Can man, are we both going on, on three? Or just me on three. That's just, a lot of pressure. Just you on three. Oh, spotlight. And then I'll try it. All right. Oh, this better work. All right. Three, two, one. Oh. oh. What? No! <laughs> Unstoppable. Okay. <sighs> See them? Can't be. You can't cuff me. Okay. You know Let's what? Let's go, Albert. Let's In that go. case, all right. Well, then I feel the energy at the table. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> Albert, break them. It's it's not even that hard. Just break. I'm trying. Alan, I'm, use your muscle. I'm, try I'm trying, y'all. It's you put a little delt, a little delt into what? it, like a little shoulder. Is there like a, a trick to it? Be strong. Friends, we get to now take this party up a notch because our Reacher family here is growing, it's expanding. Look at who we have at the table now. We've got the cast of Reacher collectively here. First up, we've got Malcolm Goodwin. Malcolm, welcome. Thanks for having me. Also, Willa Fitzgerald in the house. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Biggest Got fan. the hook. Biggest fan. <laughs> like, and and also, Alan Richson in the house. Yeah. Greetings, Alan. Yes! So, Love that guy! <laughs> so let's go around the booth. Why don't each one of you share with us, remind us who you play in Reacher? Yeah, I play a chief detective, Oscar Finley. He's a Harvard-educated, tweed suit-wearing, by-the-book, no-nonsense guy with a heart of gold, though. With a heart of gold. He does have a heart of gold. I play Roscoe Conklin. I'm a native of Margrave, and I am a little spitfire who's got a lot of opinions. Ooh. Okay. She's not acting much in nope. that. No. <laughs> uh, I play Reacher. He doesn't say much. <laughs> gotcha. Well, let's reach deeper into these characters. Getting a chance to see all three of you interact together on screen, there's undeniable chemistry, but like y'all aren't always on the same team. You don't always start off on the same team within the show. So as actors, as yourselves, when you showed up on set, how long did it take for you all to bond, to really figure out your real chemistry? Uh, <laughs> yeah, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Seconds, I like maybe? I felt, felt like in the, in, in the rehearsal. Yeah. Um, during yeah. the rehearsal, we, we were reading it, we have our scripts in front of us, and just to go, just to kind of go through it. And then Alan starts, he, he takes the script and pushes it away. He's off book. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. He started going, and then I'm like, I'm off the book too. And then it was like, it was like I'll take all of your books. And then it was like a few weeks before we had a shoot. And yeah. then I felt like it, it was, we, were just vibing, we were just all vibing on that all together. So I felt like, I'm like, oh, we good. We yeah. good. Yeah, I felt like it happened immediately between us. us yeah. yeah. All right, we have a fan question. Are there any fun moments from behind the scenes that you can share from filming? Any pranks, any flubs, any things like that? Well, this yes. man right here is a stinger. That's right. And he was on American Idol. That's right. And we found out about this. Hey. And we really wanted to, uh, you know, pay homage to his illustrious mm -hmm. past. Okay. And so we, uh, we had an on-set uh, choral interpretation of uh, 
his big hit, which was I think you should sing a couple bars of it right now. And the crew wore your <laughs> your number. They printed yes, that up, and yes. everyone was walking around with that. Yeah, off. I was like in the scene, about to shoot, and then all of a sudden, what was the song? It was like Stevie it's Wonder. Stevie yeah. Wonder, yeah. If the, the light of your life. Light of your yeah, eyes. I don't. Whatever it was, like sunshine. Yeah, sunshine. Oh, yeah, you are sunshine. sunshine. Yeah, baby. And we all sang it too. Yeah. And so, yeah, so I'm thinking I'm about to do a scene. Everybody's on their knees singing, so like I'm Paul Abdul. Like, what the hell is going on right now? I was You're so like, confused. Yeah. And then I, I see that American Idol like badging. Yeah. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh. You guys did some that's right. deep digging. Well played. Very well deep played. Yeah, I know. I think that's like the only time I've actually ever been involved in a prank on set. Yeah, well, it was good. It was, uh, I had my flashbacks <laughs> to my nom. <laughs> You could sum up your character in three emojis. What would they be? This is you don't get to choose. I, 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 yeah, my yeah, my three emojis would be um, I would say the wedding ring. Okay. Um, the fist. Found it. And um, the book. Because mm. Finley's smart. Yeah, yeah, he's book smart. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, Harvard and all that. Harvard. You know, yeah. Came up with that like, wow, slick. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Willow, what about you? Mm, okay, I think uh, the fire emoji. Ooh, yes, good. because you ha you are the firecracker. Yeah, got yeah. that right. Um, and then I think a daisy. Oh, Ooh. is there a daisy emoji? There, of course there is. There is now. And then I think uh, maybe the the running emoji. Oh. Oh, uh, the the strong arm. Okay. Original. Uh, the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the I mean the fist bump I mean the Original. fist bump because it could be a punch absolutely so mm. maybe I can mm. I do the fist bump too but in a different color so that we're not stealing each other's emojis <laughs> and uh, that tracks yeah and uh, oh the uh, ghost death emoji you know the ghost death emoji oh, yeah the yeah it looks like looks... scream yeah oh, oh yeah because yeah. Um, I kill so everybody scary. kill a lot of people so scary skeleton Skeleton emoji. Damn it, I should have said that first. Scratch all my emojis. Okay. Strong arm emoji. Skeleton emoji, because everybody's going to die. Mm. And um, the, the scream uh, ghost uh, scary emoji. Oh, is, you know, the one that's almost like, ah. Like yeah, that. yeah, 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 that one. Okay. Oh, terrifying, because right. it's terrifying. That works. What are you most excited for fans to see in this show? No spoilers, though. I think the dynamic between the, these guys is mm. really fun. And I think it's kind of unexpected. I think that Nick wrote it in a really clever way, and I think that it's a really fun part of the show, that kind of like bantery, Three Musketeers vibe. I, I concur. <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna say that just the dynamic. I mean, and you guys' chemistry just pops off on the screen and pops off, it's just amazing. So, mm -hmm. these two, you know, I mean, Beautiful. just really, really, you guys are just phenomenal. Now, in the pilot, we see that Reacher goes a whole six and a half minutes before we ever hear one word from his mouth. So that's some fantastic face acting that you do, Alan. Yeah, I really the did the heavy lifting there. In the yeah. pilot. <laughs> so now, we all want to share within that lifting because we're going to play a game called Staring is Sharing. Here's how it goes. Each of you has been given one emotion or one thought, one line maybe. You have to try to get the rest of us to guess what is that emotion? What are you trying to say? But without using any words at all, just your face. Mm. All right. So, starting off, Malcolm, why don't you go ahead and give us your. <laughs> 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 all right. Okay. I was about to use my whole body. That's my face. In love? Ding, 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 ding. I got it! Oh my god! I got it! You got it! Right off the bat. <laughs> what do oh I win? <laughs> now, Willa, it's your go. Where should I be looking? I'm in the middle. I'm just looking to space. Okay, ready? <laughs> so get it, get around. You better see the front of it. Okay. Are okay, you ready? <laughs> you can't arrest me. I'm not a killer. Mm. Oh, you Is think it? you can? You think you can come in here with your shotguns? Are you serious? You think you can? That's a good. That's that's in the tenor. That's in the tenor. The tenor oh, okay. of what the the thing would be, I would say. Yeah. Come on. Are you, you gotta, kidding me? They're never gonna me? get this. Unbelievable. <laughs> I've. Oh my gosh! You're gonna eat that? 
Oh, why are you licking a plate? No more peach pie. <laughs> There's a word in there that's correct. Oh my gosh. Best, worst peach pie in Margrave. <laughs> no, best peach pie in Margrave. I want more of this peach pie. Can I have the peach pie? It's something about don't take my peach pie. Or can I eat my peach pie in peace? Oh, whoops, I don't even Oh my <laughs> gosh. See? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Now we're going to hear from Lee Child, the author of the Jack Reacher novel series. Lee has some trivia questions for us all to think about. And when you believe that you know the correct answer, just chime on in with that bell right there. But also everybody who's playing at home, you can play along as well too. You write your guesses in the chat section and let's have some fun. So, are you ready? Uh, no you pressure, ready. no oh, pressure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Lee, what's the first question? What was Reach's rank when he left the army? Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Oh. That was Major! Oh. Major! Oh, oh wait, you little bastard. <laughs> you tried to sneak in there. Uh. <laughs> what, what, what's your guess gonna be, Willie? Major. Major. Major, okay. Yeah. You're all okay. guessing Major? Let's hear what Lee is. <laughs> it was Major. I knew it. Thank God yeah. I got to the bell That's first. Right. <laughs> I can't let Roscoe beat me. got in the way. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Here, our next question from Lee. My hand's running out too. What country is Reach's mother from? Ooh, who was that? <laughs> France. 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 Let's see. She's from France. Yes! yes. Two for two. Me two too. Two. Two, All for right. two. two for two. Two for two. <laughs> All right, Lee, what's up next? <laughs> Is Blind Blake, the blues musician Reacher goes to Margrave to trace. Is he a real person or not? Ow, yes, God, yes, yes, and he's got incredible music. <laughs> We what think, were you gonna say? Yes! You were just gonna say I that because I said that. You're out. You're fired. <coughs> oh, wow. It's gonna fire you up here. Lee, <laughs> Lee, <laughs> Lee, what's the correct answer? Yes, he is totally real. He recorded around 80 tracks for Paramount Records between 1926 and 1932. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wow. <clears throat> Lee, what's our next question? Which one of the following Reacher titles is fake? Tripwire, Nothing to Lose, Big Trouble. I didn't know that one. Oh my God, I hit it so fast it almost <laughs> went through my hand. This becomes a knife or projectile at some speed. Oh, the last one, whatever the last one is. I don't even know what it is because it's a fake title. Uh, big, big Trouble? The fake one is Big Trouble. Ooh, yes! Okay. God, I just, I want to keep my job so bad. <laughs> This, this became something far more than a game a long time ago. It feels like we have a lot on the line right now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's just throwing through a window recently. Yeah. Right, Lee. I just want Lee to love me. That's all I've ever wanted. Lee, what's next? What is the name of Reach's former military unit? That's you guys know this. I did not. You got the hundredth? Is that right? What is he like from the the hundredth? He's from like the south side of the Bronx. Like what street is he from? The hundredth. One ten special investigations unit. Oh my god! The hundredth. The hundredth. Yeah, I said one ten. One ten. One over. I got it all. I didn't hear. I didn't hear. Okay, my fault. That's my fault. Yeah, yeah. I you did say that. Lee, is it the one tenth or the one hundredth? It was the 110th Special Investigations Unit. Yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. All right. Okay. Take it in there. All right. It's getting very tight here. Still huh? Still <laughs> Still but let's see what happens in the next one. <laughs> oh, yes. Leek, please, what's our next question? What is Reach's middle name? You got it. You, got you guys it. don't know this? You Nobody else? You can take it. it this is kind of yours. a trick question. It should be yours. Let me set it up for you guys. Mm. He doesn't have a <laughs> But what, okay, so if you don't have a middle name, what would you put on like a military, for like a government issued form if they're trying to get information from you? John Doe. John Doe. I gave you guys a chance. I, I, did, I gave you a hint. <laughs> what? What's it's Jack Nun Reacher. Trick question. Reacher does not have a middle name. Jack has no middle name, but he writes none on the forms. Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you were doubting. Trick yeah. question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I wonder how many of our yeah. friends in the chat got that correct. How many do you think got that correct? None. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. A dad yeah. joke quota. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. And we've got another question from Lee. Reacher and his brother Joe both attended which prestigious military academy? Mm. Mm. Army. Army. Mm. Uh-oh. <gasps> mm. Oh, no. Might as well clean it up. <laughs> I'm worried he doesn't know. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's reaching. Reacher's reaching. He's reaching deep into the memory. The Might hub. as well go for the sweep. But I have no... <laughs> I have no... You don't Confidence know. in this. Really? Uh -oh. Isn't there just like, isn't there only one real? West Point? I don't know. It was West Point. Yes! yes! No way! Yes! I thought that was it. But I didn't know. Yes. So in the show, Roscoe and Reacher go for a trip, a shopping trip, if you will, in order to get Reacher some new threads. Reacher ends up choosing some very classic looks, but today, Willa gets a chance to put Alan in some more adventurous looks, if you will. So mm. let's see what's happening on the rack of Reacher. Well, let's see what's happening. I mean, gold is always nice. Can I not play this game? I think that I think it'll be good for your personal development. Oh, okay, sure. The personal development level. Right. Okay, we'll start with something tame. Ooh. Okay, great. A tame, a tame That's top. Tame? Thank you. They call okay. it a tame top. Um, I guess I'll just go back. And here. then I think uh, I think some I think lemon, lemon Ooh. yellow with black and white is very fashion forward. Wow. Okay. There you go. All right. Alan, you you're now going to be on the the best dress list now. Thank you so much. I you can't know? wait. <laughs> You know, I mean, I could also just give you a really nice, there's some nice skirts out here. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I like the, I really am into the yellow. What about a crop top? I'm into the yellow pants. Oh, what the crop this, top. What about this crop top? Oh, wow. I can't see it, but I got it. Top. It would have to be open. <laughs> it's kind of like a vintage vibe to it. I think you could have a nice. Do I have any say in this? This one's nice. All right. How's it going back there, Alan? Swell. I like that one. Uh, oh, some more, some more belts. Oh. Well, these are jazzy. Those. Oh my goodness. Like I think these are for you. Here. Look. Right? <laughs> Doesn't this look like your size? Uh, I could probably squeeze into those. Yeah. 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 I like those. Now, and by the way, Willa, does anything on this wardrobe look Speak like to me. stuff that's, yeah, in your closet? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> All the things? This is what I wear on a daily basis. This is my clothes, actually. This is my closet. We brought it with us. Obviously, right? Yeah. I, I wear those pants on my, you know, bloated days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing a lot of grunts and groans going on back there, Alan. Because he's having a great time. <laughs> Should have had less pie before this sequence. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> this will be cute. <gasps> Found the next outfit. Oh, it's a Dalmatian chic kind of moment. To be honest, I don't know if that would fit me. <laughs> to be quite frank, I don't know what that's doing on the rack. Oh. I, you Alan, are good? really, you're a slow dresser. Now, I understand why you're always so late in the morning. I would not want to be this zipper oh, right now. I mean. I, I, I won't look. <laughs> you look great. How do you feel? You there you great. go. Yeah. Come I on. think this is great for your for your going out on the town look. For your, I'm gonna go and go have a nice piece of sushi. Or roller skating oh. because the bell bottoms will fit over just about any equipment on the feet. That's true. Wow. I think I did a great job. Honestly, I feel like it's really it's making a statement. It, yeah. it, it's saying something. Yeah. It's a saying lot a lot of, of something. It's saying a lot of things. <laughs> Uh, it's a very verbose outfit. You need your outfit. outfit to talk when you yourself do not. Uh, let's see. You should use it again the next time. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> okay, I think that... Oh, well, sorry. Right <laughs> <laughs> I was just... Uh, sorry about that. Um, I think that... Yeah, you know. <laughs> Shake those. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I think this is a... Oh, this one comes with a belt already oh, attached. Oh, snap. That's perfect. Look, this looks like a really nice rayon. This looks like it would really trap in all the body odors. Yes, just keep it and in. And it would just keep it close. And you wouldn't know until you get real close and you're like, whoa, that's been 40 years of that smell. There a little surprise there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Willa, you really do have an eye for this. Thank you. <laughs> the pain on Drum your face. Oh, wow. 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 It's great. This it's great. She called herself a stylist. This, it's this great. Is like the <laughs> that is kind of cool. You can fold it. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. I'm ready for my night on the town, Willa. 
Yeah. So vote for your favorite look in the chat right now because we know we've seen some winners happening right here, right now, yeah. today. And until Thanks, we get to the next point, we're just going to do a little tamburito. We good? Let's dance it yeah. out. Tamborito. Yeah. Tamborito. I'll leave it to you too. Can you judge our Tamborito? <laughs> What a day. This was wild. We got a chance to play games. There was trivia in the mix, conversation, peach pie. Thank you. Thank all three of you for joining us today and for making the spirit of Reacher alive in this place. Thank Thanks, man. You. Thanks for having Thanks us. For having a lot us. of fun. Yes. And we're going to see you soon over at the Twitter Watch Party starting at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Just smash that play button on episode one of Reacher and join us over on Twitter. We got you. As the conversation goes on, make sure you're looking for that hashtag Reacher on Prime. And we'll keep the conversation flowing. Sound good to you? Sounds yeah. good. Sounds great. All right. So we'll see you over there. Later.